Hey coin collectors and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And today we have a bunch of 1984 pennies. We have the San Francisco Mint, we have the Philadelphia Mint, and we have the Denver Mint. And of course the Denver Mint, you can see one of them right up here, has the D and we'll go through that. Philadelphia Mint with no mint marks. We see a few of them. Here's another Denver. Here's another Philly. And then up here we see the really shiny one. And we can almost always tell that's going to be a San Francisco Mint coin. But the one we really want to focus on is this one right here in the middle. One of the things that happens sometimes with U.S. coins is you want the shiny one or you want the red one or you want the one that looks best and you ignore some of the other coins. And this is a 1984 Philadelphia penny. It's, uh, I guess you could call it brown. It has an incredible amount of toning on it. Just a really beautiful coin in terms of the coloring. And the trick is for 1984, you might get a coin that looks like this that's worth three to five hundred dollars. Why would it be worth three to five hundred dollars looking like this? Well, it's because in 1984 they had what they call the double die obverse. And the, let me show you on the PCGS website what you need to look at to find the double die obverse. So here it is, the double die obverse on the Philadelphia. And right up, see where the hand is right there? See that little line underneath the ear? So that's a doubled ear. So the ear's up here, and then there's some doubling here. You can also see a little tiny bit of doubling here on the chin. And then down here on the bow tie, you'll see a little bit of doubling. You can see, this part you can see with the naked eye, this part's a little harder to see. You have to get the light right. But this is straight from the PCGS website. This is a double die obverse brown. So don't throw out the browns. Just because it's not shiny and red, this is still worth a few hundred dollars to $350 for a double die obverse brown. So what we'd be looking at is the ear up here, the chin, and the bow tie. We've got it magnified quite a bit. I'm not seeing any second ear up there. You're not seeing that extra line. I'm not seeing anything special with the chin and the bow tie looks pretty good but it's not anything special. Now, of course this is a Lincoln penny. It changed in 1982 to a zinc covered penny. This one here is one of the zinc ones. Uh, it has Lincoln on the front and God we trust above him. Liberty behind him. Under his chin we see the date. And then way down here, we see the engraver's initials, the VDB, which has been on there since 1909. Well, kind of on there since 1909. It, and originally, it was on the back, then they moved it to the front. On the back of this coin, it says United States of America, E Pluribus Unum here. This is the Lincoln Memorial. And you'll notice on this one, the back is much worse than the front was. One cent at the bottom, and over here the initials of the engraver of the back, and that's Frank Gasparo. This coin is going to be worth about one penny, but we keep it just because we love the coloring on it. So let's take a look at some of the other coins. Oh, and I should say in 1984 in Philadelphia, they made $8.5 billion. Some of the numbers report 8.5, some report 8.2. Let's just say they made over 8 billion of these coins at Philadelphia. So there's plenty of them out there to look through and you'll probably get plenty. And it was also a double die obverse at the Denver Mint. It's one of those years where you can look for both. This one does not have a double die obverse that we can see and it's in really bad shape. But this has what this has is this kind of cool D. See how the D on here kind of gets slanted and goes, you know, in this direction like it goes from here up at a slant and that's really interesting once in a while you get one of these so you get one of these keep it too not big value but some people might like this kind of slanted D on there let's look at another D from uh, 1984 and you see this one is a straight up and down D so let's see if we can show you the difference see how this D goes um, kind of leans to the right and this one here if we put it there goes kind of straight up and down. So once in a while you get a D like this or a S like this or even a P like this on other coins. And uh, those are coins that, uh, why not save them out? Because it's kind of fun. At the Denver Mint in 1984, they made 5.6 billion. So about 14 billion between the two. So there's plenty of these out there and feel free to you know look at it, 
Look for that extra line in the ear and in the chin. Even at this rate, it's probably going to be worth $40 to $50. But if you can get a Denver Mint one and it's red, it's worth about $600. And if it's brown, it's worth about $225. If you want to look at a shiny one, here's a shiny one here. So this coin is probably worth a few dollars, uh, but you'll see it doesn't have the double die. So this is the Philadelphia Mint from an uncirculated mint set back before they started doing the satin finish on them. This one you really can see, but you'll see that there isn't really any doubling the chin, the bow tie. Sometimes when you look at the bow tie, it looks like there's a little bit of doubling, but this is actually how the bow tie is tied. If you get the doubling, you get double lines on the outside, sometimes on the inside, but this is not it. And finally, the San Francisco mint coin, and this is a shiny one, and this one is not going to have the double die obverse on it. Uh, they didn't have any of those issues as far as I know with San Francisco 1984, but they did make three million of these coins and they are just beautiful coins. Not the greatest detail on the back, but still, uh, like I said, this one's probably worth a couple dollars. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. Remember, don't ignore these, the brown ones. Don't ignore the ones with lots of toning because they might very well be the ones that have the extra ear or the extra bow tie line. Even look at look at some as bad as this. Can't see anything there. But look at them all if you get the 1984s uh, just for fun. All right, that's all we have today from DC Coinwell International Coin Channel.